Hello, I'm Dr. Kill, aka Dr. Spill, just call me BP, and with me here is... Death Cat for Cutie, just DC4Z. And uh, I'm going to show off uh, something I didn't really get to fit in into the main LP, sort of. What I want to show off here is ex is exactly why I got... I went into the very first dungeon before any other dungeon to get the bow to help me complete all the other dungeons. But one of my main... Or one of my challenge goals, I guess, when I did the, the Super Wrong LP is that I did reverse dungeon order, sort of. But I did have to go get the bow first because the bow is just so useful for basically everything. That being said, there is a way to completely do all of Stone Tower without a bow, but the process for doing so is so uh, extensive and there's a lot of complicated setup that I just didn't think it would be too interesting to actually have in the LP proper. So this is what this episode is about. It's, it's going to be a bonus episode where I do show off how uh, something like that would be possible. And as you see, I had to do a little bit of stuff I didn't show off. Like, I went through the, the well in its entirety. I had to do that because... I, I need the mirror shield, but I also don't have a bow to to shorten the well the way I did before. I don't have fire arrows. Which, I just want to um, say that I think you're slightly insane for doing the stone tower... The stone tower without a bow? Like, I used it constantly yeah. while playing. Yeah, no bow here. I'm just showing off the items that I do have. And I didn't even have all the proper items that I needed, so I actually leave at some point to get to get them back, or not to get to, to get them because I just forgot them the first time I came here. Is that but yeah, spring if, water as well? Yeah, I'll need that spring water. Um, I I did have the blast mask just in case I didn't actually end up using it. Um, I didn't need the gift of mask to get the mirror shield, which again I didn't use the mirror shield in the, the main LP. I I specifically skipped it because I wanted to show off that you can get all the fairies and do stone tower without it. But if I don't have a bow, then I'm going to need it just for just for a single fairy. Oh, okay. But and, and then you saw me go through the well. It's really boring. I didn't want to go through it like without being sped up. But I had to go through the whole thing, and I had to fight uh, the big Poe with just bombs because I don't have a bow. And the hookshot <laughs> does not the hookshot does not work on him. It just brings him closer. So I just had to uh, throw bombs at him uh, because it is required to sh to give a big Poe in a bottle to one of the mummies in order to continue in the well. Yeah, I. I can't even remember the last time I did the well. It's basically the only reason that I haven't actively replayed Majora's Mask lately is because I just hate the well section in its entirety. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I showed off a, uh, like a, a couple of different ways you could just skip it, it all all the way, but all the ways to skip it require a bow. I don't have that. I don't have a bow. I don't have a quiver, so I can't hold any arrows. I can't do any of that. So that that becomes a problem in, uh, well, a lot of this. Obviously, this is a light arrow dungeon, right? I need to shoot light arrows at some point. Yeah. But I'll, I'll never be able to hold any arrows, so how am I going to do that? Uh, well, uh, there is a way that I that I get around that, and it's, again, it's very complicated, and I've sort of I've actually shown it off before, so you could probably maybe take a few guesses, but it's coming up soon enough, and the uh, first thing I do need to do is actually get the light arrows. Um, I'm skipping all the fairies right now. Uh, I'm not getting any of them because it's going to be useless, because I'm... Uh, I'm going to use the Song of Time at some point, and if I get any fairies, I'm just going to lose them anyways, so... Oh, so you can just skip them all now. Yeah, so I'm just beelining to the light arrows because I need that. Uh, this is a way to skip this room really quickly, is uh, the weird shot. Uh, shove the, the hookshot camera under the ground, I've done it a bunch of times, but in this room it's really nice because it lets you skip the entire updrafts, which I don't need to do for any of the fairies or anything. It's very quick. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, it, it's actually uh, sort of a long fight just because I have the Kokiri sword, but yeah. I got here without shooting any arrows, so you can get to this part of Stone Tower without using any arrows, without using the bow. Um, I mean, I didn't use the bow either, I think, in uh, the main LP uh, up to this point. Maybe I did, I don't, I don't remember, but you, you don't need it to get the light arrows, surprisingly enough. Not if you use a bunch of all the glitches that I've been using. I was surprised there wasn't like a single eye switch or anything in the entire way leading up to that, too. Yeah, no, all the eye switches in this dungeon are for fairies. Huh. So... Or if, if there aren't, or if there are some that aren't for them, then they're probably skipped. I don't, I don't know. I don't always remember the proper way to go through these dungeons. Are you just rolling directly into that sword swipe and having to deal no damage to you? Yeah, uh, the end of Link's roll has invincibility frames. Uh, I guess like Dark Souls. This, this game is exactly like Dark Souls, right? Oh, um, it's, it's, if you t yeah. If you time your roll so that at the end of the roll you get hit, um, you get no damage, and that's also how you trigger a lot of um, the the hyper extended super slide. Um, that's how that gets triggered. That's even how the the weird shot sort of works. Is that you use those invincibility frames? Huh. I never saw those. I've never seen you use them like actively in order to fight something. 
Uh, I think I think I did it the first time I fought the Gar Master in the main LP, but I don't totally remember. Uh. But hey, hey, we got the light arrows, and that was the main goal of that part. I just needed a beeline for them, because I can't again. I can't get fairies right now. I'm actually about to use the Song of Time. I'm going to use it uh, for a Song of Time storage, which again I've talked about, where you store the song and then bring it up later. Mm -hmm. But I've also saved at the Owl Statue, so if you remember. I'm in um, a state that will allow me to trigger Zeroth Day, and Zeroth Day effects will have have a lot of really strange consequences, and I'm about to utilize a lot of them all at once. I am excited for how badly you're gonna break this in half. Then it's really complicated. And what I first need to do, I have a bottle of fish now. I didn't have that when I came in, and I needed it. I need to time stop on this switch. Uh, when I catch a fish, it brings to the text box. I time stop on the switch. I move off the switch, but the block doesn't go back, and I go on to a different switch. And when I cancel out of time stop. Uh, the first block tries to go back, but the block that I'm on the switch for it sort of blocks it. So now uh, the blocks are away from the, the light switch, which will allow me to hit it. And the way I hit it right here is I use the Zero Day effect to go as a switch from human to Deku, and this will keep uh, it'll lock the C button dimness that I explained before. It'll allow me to use any item on C as a Deku. And from here, it'll let me use the light arrows. But I need to get, actually get to the to the, the light switch. In order to do that, I have to pause buffer the way my way backwards because if I unpause, the block cutscene will trigger and move all the blocks back, and I won't be able to shoot the switch. So I have to pause buffer my way until off the ledge, and I start falling. And as I fall, I start uh, shooting a light arrow. Like I, I hold the button, and he's sort of uh, knocking an arrow as I fall. And then once I get right in front of the switch, of the light switch. I can actually shoot that arrow finally, and it activates the switch. What the hell? The really, it's it's a tough trick. It's not like incredibly tough, but it's it's a lot of uh, stuff you have to deal with. And right now, that's the only way to flip stone tower without using any arrows, because I, as I explained in them, at some point, probably just in the final fight, uh, if you shoot arrows as a DQ, you don't actually need any arrows. It understands them as being bubbles, sort of. So he he does shoot them. And you can shoot light arrows too, but it doesn't take away any arrows, and that means you don't need any arrows to shoot them. But it still like functions like the normal light arrow too, because you obviously lost magic doing that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that is a way to use arrows without having a quaver, without having any arrows in your inventory. And um, that's the only way to do that. Um, in in Ocarina of Time, you could RBA a quiver into your inventory and hold arrows that way. Uh, they, you, that doesn't exist in this game. So that is the only way I can shoot arrows without having a quiver. And the thing is, there's a whole bunch of ice switches in this dungeon, so I have to actually do it again while I'm in the dungeon <laughs> to shoot all the ice switches. Oh, man. And and, and um, so you can see right here, I'm just shooting an arrow from the DQ. It's a little bit lower in the camera because obviously it's, you're not supposed to ever shoot them that way. But yeah. if you look at my C buttons, you'll see that the ocarina is, is dimmed out. The light arrows are undimmed. That's because they're locked in that state. And that's how I was able to use it. So I, I switched from light arrows from C left to C down. And that made it undim. And that's why I can use them now. Oh, okay. And that's just a, an effect of Zero Day. And now that I can use light arrows in the dungeon, I have to go around and shoot all the light, so all the things that need light right now. Because once I take off the Deku Mask, or if I void out or anything, the, this part of the glitch gets canceled out, and I can't shoot any more light arrows. And I'd have to set up the glitch again. But if you remember, I, I needed the Song of Time to, to trigger this glitch, and the Song of Time clears out all any fairies I would have gotten. So if you reset anything at this point, then you're going to lose all the fairies that you gather. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten any fairies yet, but I've also hit a bunch of switches, and all the switches will also be reset. Oh. So I have to do everything... I have to use every single use of light arrows right now, or else uh, I just... I can't shoot them anywhere. Luckily, I only need three of them. I need to shoot those two lights... those two switches in the first room, and then this sun switch in this room. And I'm done. With shooting light arrows. I don't need any more light arrows. Is that, like, actually part of the dungeon? Does it only use it that many times? Because it's been so long since I played. Or are you just skipping no, the rest it, of it's everything? No, it's just I could skip all the other uses. Oh, okay. Those are the ones that are required because you can't really hit those otherwise. Maybe, or maybe I could have used the mirror shield. I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think so. Mm. Um, and, and from here, I need to get back to the, the first room. And I also need to get some bombs. And in order to find... The, bombs I thought I figured out that the quickest way is to just go over here I did a, a neat little side hop down to this section of the dungeon and there's some crates over here that have bombs in it because I, I do need bombs and this is like the easiest um, method I could think of to get them 
Because, again, saving the game wipes out my entire inventory, so I couldn't carry bombs into here. Or all the bombs I did carry would get lost. Alright, and then you just purposely killed yourself there? Yeah, this, this is to get back to the beginning, because I oh. didn't want it to walk back. Okay. Yeah, I did need bombs because uh, the, the one fairy that I do need to get, uh, that's most important to get right now, is the one that only spawns once you beat the wizard robe. Oh. Uh, he's the mini boss in this dungeon, or one of the mini bosses, and he has a fairy locked behind him, so I need to go ahead and get that. And I did, I have shown this off before, so I'm just going to uh, speed through it. But yeah, that's what I needed the bomb for. I guess I probably could have done another way too. Uh, I, uh, I, I do get kind of a, a tunnel vision when I'm like going through this. I probably could have just gone like maybe the normal way through the dungeon. Maybe that would even would have been faster. <laughs> but you're just did like you really the didn't... other way. Yeah, that literally did not occur to me until just right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> I probably, yeah, I would, actually, yeah, I probably, that would have been way better. I, where I did that side hop down to get bombs, I could have just gone across and fought him. I just reali now realize that. So, you can see how I get uh, a really focused tunnel vision, focused tunnel vision when I do glitches. Well, I mean, once you've done it the same way for so often, I guess you just kind of yeah. forget that there's other ways to play this game. Yeah, it's just silly. I'm just now realizing it. I mean, I feel kind of silly, but that's okay. Um... Fighting the wizard was actually kind of tough because all I had was the hook shot, and I didn't want to get down on the floor because the um, the stuff from the ceiling falls a lot and that does a, that does a lot of damage and I didn't have much health. Oh yeah, like you're only doing this for three hearts, which was insane when you were fighting the uh, was it the, the, the Garo mini boss for the uh, uh, the light arrows there. Like I saw the first sword swing happen and you took off a heart and I was just ready for you to lose that fight in some way. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I probably should have gotten more hearts. I didn't even thought about it at one point, but, I, but then I started and I just didn't want to have to go and get some. Effort. Uh, so two things you'll notice right now, I did Song of Soaring back to the entrance that stops that Zero Day effects from happening anymore. And right when I left the temple, it immediately inverted back to normal. It's not supposed to do that. That's because I reset that trigger when I did the Song of Time Storage. Oh. So it still thinks it's supposed to be normally normal, uninverted. So right when I leave, it uninverts. Huh. It's a fun little consequence. And um, from there, I just went back to town to get a whole bunch of bombs and Montus. I didn't need to do that. I probably could have just farmed some in the temple, but I think that would have taken longer and probably would have been boring to watch. Yeah, so why so. bother when you can just take care of it the easy way? And then you yeah. don't even use the bombs. Just use the rats. <laughs> I'll use them right here. But yeah, because um, I was thinking about it, it says, I did have to soar back to Clock Town, and that does get rid of the Xerthi effects. Um, but at this point, I don't need them anymore, and even if I did activate them again, again, I would lose all the fairies that I've gotten. So... I didn't think it was that big of a deal to lose it. But now we have to go through the temple somewhat unnormally, you know, the normal way I go through it with glitches. I did show this off in the, the, the randomizer LP, but I didn't do it in the main LP. You do a nice uh, bomb recoil, and you can curve your recoils in a direction, and you can curve this one uh, leftwards and sort of hit the loading zone for this room as you're falling, and then slash right into it. How much of the temple is that skip right there? Uh, not that much. It does skip the... Um, the Elegy of Emptiness, that's how. That's one of the ways to skip it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've actually completely forgotten that's even a part of this game, because you have never once even used it. Yeah, no, I, I don't really plan to use it. It's a, it's a very slow thing. Gotta go too fast. Yeah. And I and continuing on here, I do need a small key again. The nice thing about bomb shoes is that you can just send them out to kill the, the Armo statues here. You don't have to move very far. And you kill them all because they're just right behind the, the sun sunblock in by the corners. Oh, okay. So you don't have to worry about you don't have to like use the mirror shield to get rid of the sunblock or anything. You just skip all that thanks to the magical bomb shoes. Yeah. I find it's a really strange reasoning that they had for basically only putting them in the shop and that's it. Uh, there's actually there are a couple chests in the world, but they're usually in grottos. Oh, um, right. And there's some there's some in the moon. So, but the, yeah, the moon is like the only time where it looks like they plan for you to use them because you kind of have to use them there for th for the trials. Oh, right, right. I was trying to remember which one that was because all I've been thinking about lately is that stupid ass Zora one. <laughs> I, I yeah, it's the... the stone tower one. There's two switches where you need to explode the wall with bomb shoes. All right. Oh, speaking of the uh, the stone tower one, I'm gonna re uh, reveal a, a secret here. Uh, I am the horrible monster that gave you your current avatar. <laughs> oh, okay, well thank you. <laughs> I did a cool little trick here. If you put a bomb in front of that switch, and then roll off as a as a Goron before, right before it explodes, 
It mm. triggers the cutscene, but you're in the water as a Goron, and that actually voids you out back to the entrance of the, when you entered the room. So I got back to the start of the room, which is closer to the fairy chest, and it also skips the cutscene of the chest spawning. <laughs> Just for, like, the most minor of time saves there. It, it is very minor, but it's it's a neat little trick. Yeah. It's just because anytime you go into the water as a, as a Goron, a water that he's submerged in, yeah, he voids out because he just sinks right to the bottom. Since they're, what, made of rocks? Yeah, they're giant rock monsters that can't swim or something. Yeah, basically. All right, this fairy chest I had a lot of trouble with because um, it spawns upside down for one thing, and it's underwater, which makes it... I can open upside down chests usually, but I've hovered to every single one of them that I did that to. And I couldn't activate it while the tower was flipped because the switch is upside down and as far as I can tell there's no way to hit a switch while it's upside down. Even if you float up to it with cheats or anything, it doesn't activate. I even oh. got out of bounds and tried to go to it from um, above it, which is I guess would technically be below it. That didn't work. I guess they're just completely like untouchable as long as you're not standing directly on them? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it works. But I, I couldn't figure out how to Activate it while it was upside down, the switch. So I had to I have to figure out how to get that chest while it's upside down and underwater. So we'll see we'll see how I manage to do that in a bit. But first I do need to get this one fairy that again I showed off you can there's a a switch behind ice. Normally you're supposed to shoot a fire arrow at it. I did not do that in the main LP and I'm not going to do it here because I don't have arrows. But if you just use hot spring water, which I have in a fake bottle so it never cools off. Oh, is it, it to prevent that that way? It does. And it also lets me keep it through Song of Time. So, both that was completely necessary in both accounts. I needed to, since I do reset time, I needed to just to always have that with me. And that's also why I have the bottled fish in a, in a dupe bottle, because I wanted to keep that through time. Alright, but now we gotta get that chest that's underwater, and upside down. And to do that, we use our good buddy, we use our good buddy Weird Shot. I go to, against this wall right here, and again, I'm very careful because... Uh, as I said like at least 15 times by now, we were tasking crash your game very easily. And they also do sometimes cause a lot of lag because of the explosion. But you show the camera out of bounds, you can see the chest right here, I hookshot it through the wall. And now I'm in the water. So I, once I'm here, I turn into Zora and then start sinking. And I land right on top of the chest and from here, I can open it upside down. That was beautiful. Yeah, so that that's the one thing that uh, I only figured out really recently, so even if I had known, or even if I had tried to do this dungeon without a bow uh, as part of the, the regular LP, I don't think I wouldn't have been able to do it, or I would have had to think about it more, because I didn't realize you could get all the fairies until really recently without a bow. And uh, the other problem that is caused by all this is that I haven't fought the boss, and fighting the boss is... I can't really do it anymore, because I, need to, I would need to invert the tower to get to Twin Mold, and the only way I have to invert would get rid of all my fairies. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I did just get the fairy that came out of the upside down chest. I couldn't see the sprite, so I think it just didn't, it doesn't load properly because it's upside down. Oh, do you think maybe it was just underneath you and it floated up through the uh, the geometry? Because I know that they did that when I would gather them in like the uh, the first dungeon. I don't know, they're actually not supposed to go through geometry. If, they, if you can collide against something, I think they collide against it. Hmm. So I'm not sure about that one, but it is upside down too, so that might have caused some issues. Oh yeah, because there was that one that happened when you were doing the the randomizer. There was one that looked really weird when I was trying to get up to you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's I don't know I don't know how upside down fairies work. I, I'm kind of surprised that they're even upside down in the first place. I figured they would still load just right side up no matter what. But yeah, there's there's some weird stuff going on there. Yeah, like I guess they didn't just reuse assets here. It was it's just I, I don't know the the entirety of Stone Tower always broke my head when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a neat, it's a weird how they ended up putting it all together. Uh, this is what I need the mirror shield for, just that one. Um, you can activate those sun switches with light arrows, but there's no way into this room while the tower is inverted. Like, there's no doors into here. Also, there'd just be no way for you to be able to do it at all. Yeah, or else I would I would I would have I would have just gone into this room as a Deku while I still are able to use light arrows and just shot that, and then I could have skipped the mirror shield. Well, I wish you could have, because this thing's been staring at my face for the past 20 minutes, and it is yeah, the worst yes. part of this game. Yeah, silently screaming at you the whole time. I don't know what is what it is with this game, with the silently screaming, but it scared me between all of the different masks when you first put them on, and then this fucking mirror shield. <laughs> well, well, the masks are really screaming mm -hmm. for a little bit. This one's not. 
And uh, this is where I got some of that glitch tunnel vision again too. I probably could have just activated this, these stone, these sun blocks with the mirror shield. <laughs> but I decided to do the much more dangerous weird shots. For absolutely zero reason besides maybe wanting to crash your game. Yeah, it, I mean, if if I could do them perfectly, they would be faster regardless. But because I pause buffer them anyways, it, they were kind of slow. But it's more interesting to watch. Yeah, but that's how you skip it. I weird shot it to that chest to get that fairy, and then weird shot over here to this crate to get that fairy. And from here, uh, it's pretty typical. Like uh, this is I've shown. There's no more glitches really that I haven't shown off already. I had to get that fairy, and then I a hook shot into that chest. To get that fairy, and I have to fight the Garo Master again because, again, I reset all the triggers last once I use the light arrows. So the Garo Master's back because his switch is, you know, that flag was deactivated or whatever. Nice job speeding up the one that you did obviously worse on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But from here, yeah, this is pretty typical. Uh, uh, no, no glitches here, just going to the temple. And then once we get here, I can actually open up those final two chests that I'm pretty sure I activated when the towers flipped over. I could just grab them right here. And that's how you get all the fairies in Stone Tower without using a bow at all. Or using uh, a bow without a quiver or whatever. I use light arrows. That's how you do it. Really complicated and I really couldn't fit this uh, very well into the main LP because there's just so much setup to it. And I wouldn't have been able to show off the glitches that I showed off in Twin Mold or something because I would have to either come back later or f fight it before I left the first time. I don't know. I think it was more interesting the way I did it than having to set all this up. But I did want to show it off. That is, I, I didn't even know that was even slightly possible to do all that either. Like, yeah, me neither. That was kind of recent, so for me, I, maybe some other people knew, but I only fig figured out recently. But that's that's the whole bonus episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting enough to watch it. Watch Stone Tower for like the third time. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, you can add in a goodbye if you want right there at the end. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs>